of like what happens with water where you will see pieces that feel more transparent and areas that feel more opaque and this mix and match of that texture and that solid and the matte to the shine all of that i think really speaks to the true uh depths of what watershed is about and then when you move into your paintings as well, this whole idea of being able to bring color in through wall art and nature as a reference is always important. What I loved about this particular patterning watershed of the bubbles that dance, you know, along the water. And then we move into the next color, which is blue skies. Your beautiful wall art is inspired by the waves turning to those levels of blue, but also those levels of teals. And then we go here to this the mirror and a great pillow, which is sort of, you, you get the, the blue and the teals. These pearlized uh, candle holders, there's such a lovely sort of gentle movement in the stem, but we also see the color gold in general continuing to be important. And then this is one of my favorite pieces, this new small cocktail table, so architectural, so simple. And here you have a piece that really is just so solid and gorgeous. Um, but I love the high-low effect of the finishing. I thought that really spoke very cleanly uh, and clearly to that trend, as well as just being a stunning piece.